We're on the streets of Barcelona with the LG G6, the company's new flagship smartphone. And we're gonna put it to the test doing what you use your phone for most, taking pictures. The main feature of the cameras on the LG G6 is the dual lens setup around back. Unlike previous smartphones that had one larger and one smaller lens, what LG has done here is put two 13 megapixel cameras around back. There's plenty to look at here in Barcelona, so let's go put this thing to the test. On the surface, the main selling point of the G6 may be its unique 18.9 display, but don't sleep on the camera setup. For the most part, it doesn't disappoint. Overall image quality is really nice on the G6. It shows LG has ironed out some of the issues from previous phones. Most notably, the company got rid of the stutter when you switch between those regular and wide angle shots. That transition is much smoother now. LG also improved image quality for the 125 degree photos. Opting for two 13 megapixel lenses rather than one larger 16 megapixel and one smaller 8 megapixel certainly had something to do with that. Dual cameras and an app specifically tailored to improving square photos are sure to make avid Instagrammers very happy. There are a number of built-in settings to help you get the best shots with nothing more than the stock camera app. The familiar ones from previous LG phones are a food mode that includes a white balance slider and both skin and lighting tools to fine tune selfies. Food mode comes in handy when you're trying to accurately capture the colors of gelato or vegetables. LG also has a new square camera app for hardcore Instagrammers that makes previews, collages, and consistent compositions a breeze. And yes, there's a setting for shooting photos in that 18-9 aspect ratio to ensure they properly fill the phone screen. Due to the dual camera setup, when you flip back and forth between regular and wide angle modes, the white balance is different. It's not a deal breaker, but you will have to make an adjustment if you're taking photos of the same subject with both. However, that flipping back and forth is easily done by tapping the controls at the top of the camera UI. The same wide angle controls are available for the front facing camera too. Software isn't final on the G6 camera we tested, so hiccups like issues with the in-camera gallery of recent shots will likely be remedied before the handset ships to consumers. For now, the only real concern here is low light performance, something we will examine closely as we get cozy with the device. Some of our test shots here at MWC were noticeably grainy in dimly lit environments. After a couple of hours taking pictures with the G6, we can safely say that LG has made another compelling case for a dual lens camera. There's handy software features, the wide angle is pretty great, but we're just anxious to spend more time with this device. Stay tuned for more from Mobile World Congress and a full review coming soon.